In this lecture, we will learn how to draw the plan and elevation bracings. See, bracings are a very essential part of a steel structure. Without bracings, steel structures are somewhat not desirable. Although they can be stabilized by taking box sections and all the you know like all the strong ho hollow sections to avoid the torsional buckling, but bracings are always allow or always desirable so that wind and seismic forces can travel via compressor forces and tensile forces so basically what happens here what i am trying to say is that suppose a force travels like this horizontal force pb sections itself have a very less horizontal load taking capacity so what it yeah, what what will happen is that this force will travel from this point to this point so it will be uh, come in compression and this will come in tension similarly here and similarly here as you can see that uh, the span of the shed is approximately in along the uh, longitudinal direction it is approximately 91 meter which is quite large so we need to balance the wind as well as seismic forces so we provide elevation bracing so this is the elevation bracing plus we provide this plan bracing so we need to go to our ETAPS model First of all, we need to define the section properties. We need to left click on add new property. We need to select this steel rod here. Left click on OK. So this is a, a simple steel rod that is most of the times used for the elevation bracing. Uh, most people use angle also and most people use channels also but most of the times in pb sheds unlike steel structures pb sheds mostly rods are used so what we can do here is that we can define the diameter let us say uh, it is of 25 m dia i must say that it is quite a high di high diameter but we can go ahead with this and then left click on ok We can name it as 25 mm rod bracing. Left click on OK and then again left click on OK. Go to draw and draw beam column brace. Select the property as yes. 25 mm rod bracing and moment releases has to be pinned on both the sides. Here you can see that second the bracing in the plan is between grid 2 and 3 so we go to our model and draw the brace here I want to add a point here that Initially, I am going with this tie rod, but in the next lectures, I can change it to either channel or angle. Similarly, the bracings are provided on the mirror, mirror side also, that is along this bay. and one in the middle that is between grid 7 and 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 2 3 4 5 6 7 Similarly, we need to provide the bracings in the elevation also.
save this model go to view and show rendered view so here you can see that the bracings are being shown here in the plan as well as an elevation 